my dad's make it hurt. morning guys and welcome back to the channel so I know I said I was gonna head north on this next trip but you know I was really feeling for a smallie bite and so Dane and I came out to the Snake River uh, pretty close to our house about an hour drive and uh, we're gonna go after some smallies but they are already hitting on the top water Dane's out here he's already caught one on his first cast and it's by second cast he's getting blows again so this is gonna be a quick intro I'm gonna get out there, I'm gonna start smacking them, I'm gonna throw a popper, we're gonna get some top water bites and just see kind of how the day goes. Anyway, I'm gonna get you on the chesty, I'll catch you in a minute. All right guys, so today guys, it's gonna be a little different because as you can see, I don't have a graph, which can only mean one thing, I forgot it. <laughs> and of course, some popper action just feels very right. Dane's over there working the spook, so got to make a little bit of a difference, right? It's definitely weird not having my graph. It's hard to uh, hard to say exactly where I want to be fishing, but a lot of busts are out here, so. Do some, some open water casting for a minute and just see if we can't get a bite or two. Cool morning. There should, there should be smallmouth just out munching right now. All right, real fast. Quick bait change. Go with the bluegill color. Just seems fitting. These smallmouth are probably munching on some shad, so go with something kind of a shaddy color. Oh, got him. Ah, <laughs> first whopper popper fish. Right on. Well, that's not a great way to hook a fish, that's for sure. Sorry, bud. Little dink, but first fish of the day. Got him. <laughs> what a nasty girl. She what wanted a nasty it. Little girl she is. Oh, dude, there's like six of them chasing her. They are snapped right here. Bunch of, bunch of little guys, but they are definitely stacked right here. If you would have woke me up this morning and said, Colt, we're gonna catch them in four feet of water on a day that is supposed to be 100 degrees, I would have laughed at you. Got him. Oh. Oh. Oh, I missed him. Dude, I was dead sticking it. Switching over to the popper. It's the juice. It's got perfect chop on the water right now for the popper or plopper. You know, I was kind of thinking about buzz bait too. Ooh. Just because I don't like, you know, we have that tendency that we don't really like to throw the same thing. Even though you're Dude, they are attacking it, man. There was like three of them right there. Yeah. 
Did I get two? Oh, okay, no. It hooked its tail. <laughs> so they are feeding that that's carp fry you can have that back little bud my gopro over there faster oh my goodness Thank goodness. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> That's one hungry chicken. Look at all them chickens. That hawk is just trying to get... Oh, there That's it goes again. That is, that is a goal. Oh, look at this. It is trying to get that whopper plopper. Oh, that's nuts. That is the biggest bass I've ever caught on a whopper plopper. I mean, just look at the size of that bass compared to that whopper plopper. I mean, it makes my whopper plopper not even look like it's a bait. <laughs> Might as well have been throwing finesse. My hook door or what? Your drag set really loose? No. It's actually like super tight. I don't know what's going on with this rod, man. Or this reel. It's like one minute it's super loose and the next minute it's it's like overbearingly tight. Hook really <laughs> Oh, dude, I caught a perch. Really? Yep. First Snake River perch right there. Hey, I got a stringer. Yeah, let's keep it. Huh? What do you guys think? Catch and cook? Huh? You gonna try some uh, perch? I've never had perch. Dane says they're good. No, I said I heard they're good. Dane heard they were good. All right, you got a stringer? Damn, I don't think this is gonna work. That that O-ring is not gonna fit in his mouth. What do you mean? It doesn't fit in his mouth, dude. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, we can, there's, let me see him. Let me see the little guy. Oh, that O-ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. I was like, how's that the front of that not gonna fit? Might have to go original, man. <laughs> Hooked up again. Feels good. Dude, it is a tank. Oh my Jesus, don't come, don't break off. Of course, my drag isn't working. Dude, it is a tank, dude. It looks like it, geez. Oh my God, dude, it is a tank. We're kidding. <laughs> oh man. That is awesome. Look at that. Oh, ow. Dude, that is a that's a good fish. I don't know what's going on with my reel, but Oh yeah. 
That's a good summer fish right there, 18 inch. I'll take it, I'll take it all day. No way. I just got hit on the fall. Oh yeah, I got a fish on. Fish on. Feels good. They just want that Ned rig today. Heck yeah. Oh, I'll just keep that up for a little while. Got him. No, I'm casting at the bank, or at, at the, it's like a grass rock ledge, and then I just let it drop. It's like a five foot drop. Uh -huh. And every time it drops, they hit it. Huh. That's what I was just thinking when I saw those uh, rollers form, and I was like, like, you know, playing in the ocean, going out like chest deep, and like boogie boarding and stuff, and being hit by actual waves. Yeah. It's like, don't seem that big anymore. <laughs> you know, I just decided that like at the beginning of after October, I just decided like if I worry about waves and the weather and the wind out in dip. this area, yeah, we're not gonna get out enough. Dang it, Dane. Oh, is that where you wanted to go? No, I wanted you to not talk bad about the wind so it would keep up. Oh, I feel you, dog. I feel you. Free wireless. Huh. I gotta take a that hey, was cool. That was pretty cool. That was cool. Just straight up and down. <laughs> there we go, doubled up. Doubled up. Doubled up. Have a bigger fish than me. Huh? Cute. I don't think it is. I mean, it's not a bad one, but it's not like. It's definitely not a monster. All right. Yeah, dick move, bro. Double up of the season, huh? Cheers. Oh, just like Greg and his buddy? You bet. <laughs> One of the things I do, I will say I do with the Ned rig is I do kind of search because I'll cast at a certain spot and if I don't get thumped within like one or two jumps, I, I just figure there's no fish there. Yeah. Like, just keep it still. Yeah, they'll sit there and watch it until it moves just right. There we go. Good one? Oh, Looks good. I was like, for a second, I was like, uh. Double up. 
Nice. Oh, Jesus. Dang, that's a good fish. I was going to say, you are, you're zinging, man. Holy cow, dude. I mean, it's not, like. It's net worthy, huh? Yeah, dude, it's, it's probably 17 fish, 16 inch fish. Like that's fish. a good fish. Yeah. Like well, and it's just like you hook into it, and it's like oh yeah, monster dude. Monster. Right. And it's just like like that. Jane, what are we doing for lunch today? What are we gonna do for lunch? We haven't caught enough perch to eat lunch. stop biting so good let's get a let's get a little uh snappage here with the gopro of dane's first ever walleye nice little fryer size dude molly i'm so i'm so jazzed there she is right on guys that's gonna wrap it up all in all it was a good day other than uh, the pack in and pack out that's a little rough but uh, yeah I mean caught tons of fish so definitely can't complain catch and cook later catch and cook Dane caught himself a walleye I caught a perch so we're gonna try the perch for the first time we're told that's been good that's as far as we know so anyway guys we're going to head home, get some ice cream, something cold to drink, enjoy this AC. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace out. All right, guys, all cleaned up. Had to take a shower. I felt just disgusting after, uh, you know, sitting in the sun that long, got a little sweaty. So got cleaned up, cooled down because, man, it was, it's hot. But going to head over to Dane's real quick and do a little bit of catch and cook with that walleye and perch. So stay tuned. Ah, oh. Dane. What do you do? Come on, Tex. Come on. All right. <laughs> Catch and cook time. Let me introduce you to the peeps. Everybody knows Dane. Oh, they do. One of them all. This is my old lady, Kara. <laughs> and over there is my dog. No, it really sucks. I'm not gonna lie to you. My Tex dog. And that's whiskey. That is the dude. Wild, crazy. You'll love him. Oh, great. And that's Dane's wife, Hello. Lauren. She's oh. pretty wonderful. She cooks Hello. me uh, these jalapeno poppers that are fucking mint. <laughs> right here, the cutest baby of all time, right there. Hey. Say hi. No. No, nah, he just woke up. He's grumpy. He's hi, guys. <laughs> and welcome to. My YouTube channel. Like a, yeah, Waldron. Waldron, that's yeah. right. Waldron. <laughs> I mean, I was bitch slapping. He, he, was, he was acting out, you know? No, Waldron, no! <laughs> yeah. Wake up, Waldron! Waldron went belly up! <laughs> Why am I sweating? I was like, is it Andy acting? Was, oh, yeah, you watch him? Hi, YouTube. Everybody watches him. Yeah, I was like, I even told him, I was like, yeah, he's one of the few. Little stuff like that is going on the channel, just so you know. Oh, my God. Got some uh, beautiful fillets, a couple beers. Should we, like, cut those in chunks, or yeah. should we just, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Is this on? 
Uh, no, I got a light. It, it was hot, so I got to light light it back up again, and I didn't think Lauren was going to be that quick. So, yeah, I just want to uh, announce the uh, amazing filetness done by said woman here, Lauren, Dane's wife. Good. Babe, will you grab the little thing of uh, limes out of the fruit? Yeah. So we're not going to do anything like crazy fancy, guys. We're no, just going to just gonna salt, do. pepper, a little lime juice to add some flavor. We're just going to try these out. And uh, we've heard that, obviously, I've, I've had walleye. Walleye's great. I've had walleye, yeah. We have never had perch, which again, white meat. That's these little little baby slabs right there. These, these two little baby slabs. So just kind of a taste test, see if we like them. If not, then uh, obviously yeah. I will let you guys know. Little canola oil. Salt, pepper, and some limeage. And usually, catch and cook are supposed to be done on the bank, fresh fish, but we were not expecting to catch anything other than bass, so we had no cooking gear. We weren't even planning on doing a catch and cook, so this is just kind of done on the limb, I guess. All right, we'll go with the perch first. Already a little salt and pepper on them. little limeage just a little squirt squirt for the cook in looks good juicy what do you think is going to be better definitely the walleye hands down definitely the walleye is going to be better but I, i'm really hoping that perch actually tastes a lot like a crappie but i feel like we should have took that mud vein out but I don't know. Eat around it. We'll try it with both. Try it with both. Yeah. Look at that cute little spatula. It's just gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Mm. Juicy, huh? This looks juicy. Look how flaky white meat is. I know, right? You just see it just like perfect. Key to perfect fish is how many times you flip it. I'll put that one here. I'll pick that back up. Get all these juices out of this. The hard part is I honestly have no idea when you call perch done. Like I've, I've never cooked it. I'm gonna go off it like walleye, I guess. Ooh, look at that. Oh gosh, that looks perfect. That is a perfect little slab there. All right. There's some, uh, there's the finished product of some perch. Let's throw some of this walleye on there oh jesus oh there's some wally cooking up old waldron old waldron poor waldron So I think the next time we do a catch and cook, we are definitely going to uh, do it on the bank, guys. And we're gonna do it over like an open flame kind of fire, I think, huh? I think that'd be good. I think it'll be. All right, guys. Look at that. Dunnage right there. Just looks delicious. Finishing touches, just a little bit of lime on top of the walleye. Lime just goes good with fish. Boom. All right, Dane, would you like to uh, have the honors of trying the first perch? I will, actually. Thank you. 
Ooh, buttery. Is it good? Not bad. It's fishy. But we didn't really, you know, we didn't really do much to, uh, We didn't really add too much to no. take away from the fishiness, but that is a... Uh, I think if we added like a a breading... Yeah. Fish tacos right here. Yeah, it is It is fluffy. It's refreshing. Mm -hmm. And that's nice because normally you get that refreshing taste from... Uh, yeah, this um, is definitely an all-day like fish tacos kind of fish, I think. Yeah. I don't know if I enjoy it so much by itself. I mean, it's not bad. Hands down, walleye still the better of the two fish. But... I think the perch would be amazing on tacos, so it's definitely one of them fish that we will continue to catch, continue to keep, continue to cook. But uh, if we're going to do a catch and cook, it's definitely going to be the walleye. The walleye tastes the best with bare minimum salt, pepper, and lime. So hands down, walleye, what do you think? Oh, walleye all the way. So it's, it's uh, two to zero, walleye wins. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, like. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed the catch and cook because if you did, we will do following videos. If not, you know, we'll probably just leave uh, catching walleye and cooking it at home. But anyway guys, that's gonna wrap it up today. I hope you stay safe. I hope you catch your PB, tight lines.